Hi, Aaron Anastasia here from Superior Singing Method, and I want to talk about singing lessons. First of all, I want to just give you a little outline of what I want to, what I'm going to give you in this video, and you can decide if you want to watch it or not. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about singing lessons. Are they, it, do you need singing lessons? All that stuff. I'm actually going to give you a little singing lesson, a little mini singing lesson, but it's going to be a, a good content-packed singing lesson. Talk a little bit about warm-ups and the benefit of that and give you a really good warm-up. And then I'm going to talk about the pharyngeal resonator. And the pharyngeal resonator, the good thing about this, sounds weird and whatever, but um, it can really help you with your mixed voice. Your mixed voice is a blend of your head and chest and really help you with your high notes. And, and we'll talk more about that. Uh, so, so that's, uh, and then I'm going to give you a, a really good exercise uh, on, on the pharyngeal resonator and the high notes, and that's going to really, really help you out a lot. Uh, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about how you can get more of, you know, more, more, more good content, even more, more free content um, from me. Uh, that's it. So I spent this time just telling you what I'm about to tell you. Singing lessons, singing lessons, singing lessons. Uh, first of all, what are singing lessons? Um, you know what singing lessons are. Are they beneficial? Well, of course, I wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here. Um, singing lessons, I think, are really beneficial to help you continue to get better as a singer and to learn things you don't know and learn new exercises to get your voice where it really needs to be. Um, let's talk about warm-ups. Warm-ups are something that I think you need to do. You just need to do warm-up exercises. Now, there's a difference between warm-up exercises and strengthening exercises. Um, if you just stick with warm-up exercises all the time, you know, like, mm -hmm, you know, the real simple warm-up exercises, you'll never be able to get your voice where you want to be with the high notes and all the, all the stuff that you want, the expanded range and all that stuff. I mean, you need to break out and do more strengthening exercises, um, which I'm going to give you this. That, that's part of what I'm going to give you today. I'm going to give you a great warm-up exercise, and I'm going to give you a great, um, the other exercise will be more of a strengthening um, type exercise that will get you the high notes. It'll help you with your mixed voice. It'll help blend your your registers together so you don't have the cracks and the breaks in your voice. So really good um, vocal warm-up exercise is um, just simply um, hums. The, uh, that's like starting out in the morning kind of vocal exercise besides just like a, you know, just a straight up like uh, the vocal fry. The vocal fry is really good right in the morning. My vocal fry is like big in the morning and really loud in the morning, but um, even the next step from that would be hum. So um, closed mouth, always for the first exercise, I recommend doing a closed mouth exercise. So this one is like hums. You can just go hmm, 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 You can like keep raising the note and go a little higher, a little higher. This is just kind of vocal warm-ups are just to kind of get your voice ready. It's just like the warming up a car on a cold day. It's just like just to get it ready for more kind of strenuous activity. Uh, what else? So that's vocal warm-ups. What are we doing? Singing lessons? What we're we doing here? Singing lessons again? Um, uh, the next thing is the pharyngeal resonator. If you know if you're familiar with the pharyngeal resonator, it's pharyngeal because it comes from pharynx. Your pharynx is actually uh, it's it's a whole resonator in the back of your throat. You have like straight back in your mouth. It's your or, your oral pharynx, and um, and then uh, up a little higher is your nasal pharynx. But that whole area that ah, that's kind of how the sound of of the sound kind of resonating in that area. And that's not a pretty sound at all. That, ah, but it's great for vocal warm-ups. Um, to get you uh, to to get you a nice blended voice, like I said, the blended voice, the mixed voice is your your chest voice and your head voice blended together, and that right in the middle where there tends to be like transitions and breaks and cracks and stuff, it'll help you kind of blend those together, and it will help you with your high notes, the pharyngeal resonator, and that mm, that ng sound, which I'm going to get more into in a minute, will help you get to those higher notes and the higher notes without the strain, and that's really the key because uh, we tend to pull up our chest while it's like, you know, that, uh, and try to pull up our, use our chest voice in those high notes because we want that power, that kind of fullness of the chest voice, but it doesn't work. So you need to add a little bit of your pharyngeal resonator in there as well. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. 
Um, forensic resonator, like I said, it's that, that NG sound. And the exercise that I want to show you is on that NG, that uh, 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 you want it kind of real brassy and real kind of whiny and nasally. And again, I'm not asking you to sing this way. I'm just saying that this is going to, this is going to help you to sing better. And if you add a little bit of that pharyngeal resonator in your voice, you'll be able to hit those, those higher notes nice and powerfully. So it's the difference between like in your high notes being like, hey, hey, just singing, hey, hey, straight out of your mouth. And when you add a little pharyngeal resonator, it gives a little more punch, a little more power, a little more brightness. So it's more like, hey, hey, it's got some power, it's got a little bit of, it's got more resonance to it when you're using that pharyngeal resonator. And the way that you get there is that NG sound. So the, the exercise I want you to do is I want to just call the NG slide. So I want you to slide from the bottom of your range to the top of your range. So, you see that? So it's just sliding all the way up and down your range. So what it does is it helps you, that sound helps you get into your head voice, first of all, helps you blend your two registers together, and it's, Mm, it helps you get those high notes because it takes the weight out of your voice that your chest, when you're just singing with your chest voice, the, you know, up there, it's really weighty and it, it's like too much on your vocal cords and just strains your vocal cords and get, makes them even swell up when you do, when you add too much weight to your voice all the time. So that pharyngeal resonator mm, I, will help you get up there and see there's no strain, there's no tension. I'm not, you know, I'm saying, hey, nice and nice and powerfully, but still up in that higher range. Hey, but it's not strained. It's not, you know, really weighty to where it's hurting my vocal cords. So um, that's that's basically that. Um, if you want, you know, you click the link below. Um, you can get, you know, I've got free tips there. I've also got, you know, the fastest way really to learn how to sing well is with a systematic type program. I've got an eight week program that's like systematic, step by step, day to day, exactly what to do in this eight week program to get a lot better very quickly in eight weeks. So anyway, there's that and there's a bunch of free lessons and stuff too. So um, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, click the link below to get um, some free stuff and you can find my superior singing method program there. But that is singing lessons.